dear students please note down these notes are available in the description of video please download your notes dear students in this topic of developmental biology development of chick today i will clear gastrulation in chick dear students in our last topic we have discussed the blastula the process of blastulation and the blastula in case of chick in case of birds that is discoblastula and we have also studied the fate map of blastula in this lecture i will cover gastrulation after the formation of blastula discoblastula that is a single layered embryo having a mass of cells that is blastoda and in that blastula a cavity and that cavity is subgerminal cavity dear students in case of hen in case of birds the egg laying occurs at blastula stage at discoblastula it means after egg laying the next step is gastrulation and this process begins just after egg laying it requires an optimum temperature about 38 to 40 40 degree and that is provided by the hen which provides the optimum temperature by sitting over egg this gastrulation process it begins just 4 to 5 hours of incubation and this entire process completes by the second day of incubation in this process of gastrulation specific movements morphogenetic movements of cells of blastoderm blastula and the specific movements of the cells which results in the formation of three prospective germ layers ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm it means the blastula which is single layered embryo and that single layered embryo is converted here in gastrula that is three germ layered ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm and the first step in the formation of gastrula that is formation of endoderm the students the first step that is formation of endoderm because it is essential and this process the formation of endoderm that provides nourishment to the developing embryo because this endoderm this hypoblast it involves in the digestion of yolk and due to digestion of yolk the food the nourishment is provided to the developing embryo dear students as we know egg laying occurs at blastula stage in birds the blastula is discoblastula and in this gastrulation that involves morphogenetic specific movements of the cells or you can say the specific movements of organ forming areas the prospective areas which we have discussed in our last topic the prospective areas which move to their specific positions to give rise definite organs of body it means the gastrulation is that process which is essential for the formation of organs due to the development of body organs this gastrulation process is required and the first step of gastrulation that is formation of endoderm dear students note down the process of formation of endoderm number of theories several theories regarding the formation of endoderm the best accepted theory is the delamination theory dear students the delamination theory that was given by sprat in 1946 according to this delamination theory the lower most layer this one is the blastoderm in last lecture we have cleared it this is the blastoderm and the lower most 
लेयर ऑफ दिस ब्लास्टोडम इट डीलैमिनेट्स और इट सेपरेट्स द कैविटी ऑफ ब्लास्टूला द कैविटी ऑफ दिस को ब्लास्टूला दैट वॉज सब जर्मिनल कैविटी इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव क्लियर ऑल दैट पॉइंट इट मीन्स Due to the separation of this lowermost layer of the blastoderm, a new cavity develops, and this cavity is blastose. Here, in this gastrulation, in this first step, two layers are formed. This upper layer, this outer layer, it is epiblast. Not down. This inner layer. Which is formed due to delamination, due to separation of these lowermost layer of cells of the blastoderm. That's why this process is named delamination, means separation of the cells of blastoderm. And these separated cells produce a sheet of layer which is endoderm, or it is hypoblast. And this endoderm it digests the yolk. It means this. endoderm provides nourishment to the developing embryo dear students here in gastrula in gastrulation two cavities are differentiated this cavity which lies between this epiblast and hypoblast or endoderm this cavity it is blastose and the second cavity which lies between this hypoblast endoderm and yolk this cavity is archenteron this is first step of gastrulation formation of endoderm or it is hypoderm hypoblast endoderm and this cavity it is archenteron and that blasto some germinal cavity of discoblastula that is replaced by this cavity is it is blastose dear students there are some theory is regarding the formation of endoderm invagination theory according to this invagination theory that was given by jacobson this hind part of blastoderm it undergoes invagination and the invaginated cells produce a sheet of endoderm or hypoblast and the next story is infiltration or poly invagination theory that was given by peter according to this theory these heavy amount of yolk containing cells these cells sink individually in the subgerminal cavity and these cells produce a sheet in that subgerminal cavity as a result this endoderm or hypoblast develops but the most accepted theory is that was given by sprat in 1946 that is delamination or separation theory it means the lowermost layer of this blastoderm separates or delaminates which give rise this endoderm or hypoblast as a result two cavities are formed one is blastocoel and this lower cavity it is archenteron this upper cavity which is that lies between this epiblast and hypoblast and this archenteron lies between hypoblast and yolk dear students in our next lecture i will cover